Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Guys channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I was watching different people that I'm subscribed to for various uh, reasons, should we say, generally so I can have a laugh at people uh, and so on and so forth and see what other people were thinking of. But I stumbled across a channel called Wes Truther, who was going on the aspects of trying to suggest that certain companies are putting human flesh into burgers and meats and going into weird and wonderful diatribes of... Oh, that I'll, I'll save that bit. I'll save that bit. I don't want to give too much away, otherwise you just won't watch the video. But to be fair, this is going to be a longish video. But I have to, because I need to show, in some cases, most cases, okay, in the two cases that I'm using, that the craziness levels are, uh, should we just say, way up there. Now, with that being said, let's go into the funny but crazy world of Wes Truther and eating human flesh, shall we? Well, this is where my rabbit hole begins. Welcome to Wes Truther, the channel that has Truther in the name but literally no citations or links or anything to back up any of the claims that he's going to make. So let's find out how, why, when, the how that human meat is being put into this process. And as I said, this is where it all began for me down this rabbit hole. So fuck it, you're all coming with me. Hello folks, GWT here. West Truther channel, I guess some of y'all will get a laugh off of some of the things that I'm going to say in this video right here, but it's pretty obvious that human flesh is being added to processed meats. Meat, I'm sure probably not all of them, and probably certainly not the ones that you buy. So meat in processed meats has got traces of human meat? Yeah, okay. Any proof of that? Or is that just a wild accusation that you're throwing out there? I'd like to say that you're going to provide some evidence, but I've watched this before. Let's that's, that's carry on, though. But they're being added to processed meats. And it's turning humans into cannibals. Yeah, that would be by definition. But... I assume that what you mean by cannibals is that humans are going out of their way after eating processed meats to go and eat actual humans, live, dead, whatever. And there is a correlation between processed meats and humans going off to do this. Though I probably assume too much that you would actually provide evidence or links for that, but, you know, never mind. Now, the 5G destroys the fibrin from your body. And now, I know y'all are pr not familiar with this. I've not heard anybody else mention this or talk anything about it at all. But the 5G destroys the fibrin from your body. So human flesh and blood, along with the 5G, Wi-Fi, and all that kind of stuff, it, makes, it helps make a human become hooked on human flesh and blood, and it kills you at the same time. Wow! So, 5G, Wi-Fi, all that type of crap, is now, apparently according to Mr. Trufa, is directly linked to hooking you to human meat and blood to turn you into a cannibal. Now, I'm not saying 5G is completely perfect, I'm not saying that it's absolutely off of the scales either but for somebody to literally sit there with his lips 
puckered to say that he thinks that 5G has direct correlation with people that are eating other humans. What I mean, it makes you sick a little at a time. It, it changes your body the way your body should naturally function. And lizards have it. Lizards have it in their body and uh, animals too. Oh my god, the reptilians are coming, the reptilians are coming, quick, go back to the egg-shaped moon that's for the great big serpents in the sky. By any chance do you know, David Icke? Factor, it's fiber of the muscle tissue and skin tissue. And when your skin goes, that's the fibrin. It's all but gone from your body and from your health. So, where does your skin go if it's gone where does it go do you mean that it starts to wrinkle do you mean it falls off what do you mean by it goes and the fibrin is what causes the fiber from your fucking whatever the fuck you try to explain of the human skeletal system and the human system how does that make the skin go are you just saying words and phrases so people think that you know what you're talking about because if so Probably not the best way of going, my friend. This stuff I tell you is kept covered up by the governments, the medical industry, and all of the employees of these medical industries and these medical research centers. So you're going to sit there, tell me that all of the government, every single aspect of every incident and agency that is in the government, all the way from governors, states, pre presidents, all the way down to... CIA, FBI, NSA, so on and so forth. Not one single whistleblower will come forward to be able to tell what's going on. All the medical profession that comes out against processed meat and say it causes cancer and so on and so forth, they haven't come out and said that there's human meat in there. And all of the researchers that do all of the same thing, or similar thereof, also haven't come out and actually said that this is happening. And all of these people... Thousands upon tens of thousands of people, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people, not one of them out of those professions would come forward to collaborate your story of one human flesh being in processed meats. Second, that 5G somehow encourages humans to then go off to be cannibalistic and eat other humans. Oh, and for the lizards. They work for a paycheck and they're developing, they're engineering, and they are and they are composing poisons mixed in with the food and they don't even eat the stuff. When they're shopping in a grocery store and they see you buying processed meats, you need to just think to yourself for a second, how many of course you probably can't tell who works for meat processing places and for the first time in the whole of this video, you could see how painful it was for him to think. And by that, I mean he was going through the process in his mind and realised that you can't tell when somebody is shopping if they work for the government, if they work for meat processors, if they work as a meat packer, if they work for anything that would have any idea of what's going on. You could not tell who those people were or are. And you could see the actual strain of him trying to think that. And that was a beautiful, beautiful moment. The, the meat doesn't have a beef flavor. It doesn't have a ham or a pork chop flavor. It's different. It's different. It's different. Just because that something doesn't taste like something that you think it is, does not mean that it's human. But... Please carry on with your delusion. If you want real meat, you've got to get meat that's got the bones in them and you've got to be experienced enough with cooking or, or shopping. You've got to be experienced enough to know if it's a real bone and the meat is attached to it by gristle or, and, and fat and stuff like that. Careful now, ladies and gents, because even if you go and buy proper meat, it may not be proper meat. Because even if it has a bone in it, it may not be attached right. So it may not be proper meat. And you have to be experienced 
to know all of this. Otherwise, you're just ill-informed and ignorant of the situation, right? You just don't know the truth. You know, this is serious business. This is not a joke. Oh, but it is. You are a joke. I mean, it's a joke. Research is kept from you and the use of the knowledge is used against you. But yet, you were able to go out, find all of this research, do all the time, put the effort in, go against the medical profession, go against the government's professions and agencies and everything else like that, not have a single thing happen to you, to speak on a YouTube channel about human meat being put into products of meat. Yeah. Does anybody else see anything wrong with this? Conspiracy theorist, tinfoil hat wearing... I just don't understand. The people that push all of that health stuff, they're corporations. They're pushing that stuff for a profit and you still don't know what you're getting. So everybody that's something to do with healthy, including people that go off to the gym and do their own stuff and see the things that actually help themselves and actually become healthier because of the food that they're eating, because of the food that they choose to cut out, and so on and so forth. Those are all corporations and people by themselves that are there to make a profit? Or is that just to fit a narrative that you're trying to portray of people that would go against you? In other words, calling you out for the idiot that you are? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for the most amazing of amazing spectacles. And no, I don't mean the glasses on his face. Just watch, be amazed, and watch the true tinfoil hat wearing lunatic idiots they are on me the whole time that i'm working on my computer and i'm not the wi-fi is not on the frequencies have been hitting me so hard today it is terrible i mean it just stings down in my ears they vibrate so bad they get to the itching deep down in there and that's the frequencies and i can hear the tone the whole house is filled and i done put a faraday cage over top of my smart meter outside and it helped a little bit i thought i could tell a difference but oh here it comes here it comes you know you're gonna have to watch it here it comes i have a uh uh i made an aluminum foil cap <laughs> you sir are a fucking idiot. Very quickly, I just wanted to go through this with you guys. And obviously this is still the same video, but as you can see under Wes Truth or where it's been published, he doesn't put any links, any sources, and that's everything that's actually put into the video. So there's no evidence for what he says to be true. There is no way of verifying it for yourself. There is no way of finding the truth either way you have to believe him regardless and regardless of the 233 views that this person has got there is no dislikes to the video whatsoever and there is 46 likes meaning that people liked this video fine their choice too but it would have been better if he put some links and sources in so people could actually you know find the truth so bev ike hmm, interesting great video i haven't heard anyone speak on this before i'm glad you did this is something more channels should be aware of and sharing thanks so much wes love that hat by the way i bet you do bev i bet you do kkp puts great video thank you for all your research you've done this is the point where I would like to just go through it with people. What the fuck? Where's the research? He says he's done research, but he hasn't put any links to the research material that he's done. Yeah, I know that in the video he kind of says that some of the information has disappeared from his computer, or some of the information is gone and he tries to blame the government for it. Interesting, interesting, they able to put the video out though, so if the government didn't want you putting a video out, then why are you putting a video out? Sir Johnson also puts in, it's in artificial flavours, 
Two adds flavouring. Mm. Dooley says, makes sense to me. Thanks, Wes. Thanks for the EFO, Wes. The writing's on the wall. Although to most it's not obvious. Sad for me to say, the message... <laughs> the masses are in a scientific trance. Yes, scientific trance. Even though there's no empirical data or evidence whatsoever. We now return to your regular programming. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that all being said, let's start to move on and get to the actual video in which I wanted to respond to the most. And you'll see the reasons why when we get there. And the reasons why, just to try and draw you in a little bit, because I know the video is a bit long as it is already. Let's just say, child rape apparently plays a part in putting human flesh into certain foods. Let's, let's just say that. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is from the channel Shirley Singer, believe it or not. Has over 19,000 subscribers. The video that we're actually looking at is around about two years old, but has close to over, just under, sorry, 70,000 people that have watched this video. I'm not going to really make a comment on either way on what I think that the video is bad or good at this moment in time. I'll let you lot be the judge of that because I think that the video in itself is very interesting. And by the way, this time there is no mention of anything to do with 5G. But then again, that was because it was over two years old. Funny how narratives seem to change over time or before time, doesn't it? And how people add to conspiracy theories and take away. But with that being said, let's get into this video, shall we? Uh, it doesn't matter whether you call them the Nazis or the Cabal or the Illuminati New World Order or whatever. Or just, I just I usually call them the dark side. It has you now. That's all I have to say about that. It has you now. But there's a big movement to get us to eat uh, other humans. And um, uh, I, was, I heard some military men today um, talking about what they're doing because Cargill is the main company. They have three processing plants in America. One of them is over here in uh, Minnesota. So there's a big movement to get you to eat meat, human meat, human flesh, as you put it. There's also the point of you overhearing military men speaking about this exact thing by coincidence, you happen to be there, and by coincidence, you are over an earshot, and by coincidence, there were military men near you that were talking about the subject that you wanted to talk, listen about. Interesting. Let's push that to a side for one instance. Now it's a case of uh, the military are now using a company to be able to produce this. I'm kind of losing track in your thought process already. But let's, let's carry on, let's assume that you know what the hell you're fucking talking about. And they uh, take the children and process the bodies into food and put it into the hamburger meat. So, let's get this straight. The private company takes children, processes the children, and puts that processed meat into hamburger meat. That's where this is going. That's 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 where we are at this moment in time. Take a minute. Take a second. Can you do that? Now let's carry on. And in the my labs, they have these very large tanks, and uh, basically, when they're finished gang raping the children and killing them, is that the company that's gang raping and killing the children, or is that the government that's doing that? Is that the military that's doing that? You, you're kind of not making coherent sense here. But maybe I'm just being picky. Maybe I'm just trying to find some logic behind the crazy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's, let's carry on. Then they basically just throw the bodies into the tanks and then they're processed uh, with other chemicals into, um, uh, into like a paste. And then that paste is put into, is taken to the plants, and um, there's uh, 13 uh, executives from Cargill that are heavily involved. 
So there's 13 executives from Cardiel that are heavily involved in having kids killed and raped, apparently, on their premises, put into tanks that are on the premises, and then having their remains chemically reduced, I suppose, to then be put into more fat or vet tanks that are also on the premises but are taken to these tanks. I, I'm kind of losing where you are, my friend, and... We're literally a minute into your video. But, but, again, let's have some more fun with this, shall we? I mean, not just processing the children's bodies into food, but they also have a very long history of raping children. So now Cardinal are the ones that are raping the children. Right, okay? As long as we know where the timeline's going. Because these type of men just absolutely love to have sex with children. And, it, well, in their mind they call it sex, but we call it rape. I agree with you, it would be rape if it was happening in this instance, I agree with you with that. But, what type of men? Do you mean people that are running particular companies? Do you mean well-off people? Rich people? Do you... What the fuck do you mean, these type of men? Um, you know, they feel very powerful when they have especially a four, five, or six-year-old girl or boy uh, drugged, and um, they feel very powerful when they're killing these children. And this one little girl that I met, in, well, she was in heaven when I met her. Take note of that. This little girl that I met was in heaven when I met her. She was already apparently dead when he met her. So please take note of that and how he is going to completely and utterly shit all over this girl's memory if, in fact, this actually happened. Um, but uh, we had done some energy work and healing for her while she was still here. Named Jaquanda from uh, Houston, Texas. So healing work while she was still here. Do you mean in spirit form? Do you mean in body form? Do you mean the fact that she was a ghost? What the fuck do you mean? And she was a little 13-year-old African-American girl. Just a beautiful, beautiful girl. She was targeted because she has large breasts, and she was raped 712 times uh, before they killed her. So she was raped 712 times, and nobody did anything about this. Nothing happened. Nobody did nothing. None of the workers, none of the people, none of the military men that apparently knew that this was going on that you said at the beginning. Nobody did nothing, right? Okay. Fine. Well, how do you know that she was raped that many times? Did you speak to her in spirit form? Did you speak to her while you were doing energy form and whatever? How the hell do you know this to be factually correct? The 712th man that uh, chokes her to death during rape. And that's a little, a little, that's not really normal because most of these children are raped between, let's say, anywhere from between 50 and 200 times each. So 712 times is not normal, but raping somebody as a child apparently between 50 and 120 times in total is apparently normal for you. Though, I do have to say that the little saying, let's just say, means that you don't have any factual basis for this, and you're making it up on the fly. But, I could be wrong. I could be. Probably not, but I could be. Um... And, uh, you know, because they use their special drugs and their special means and they have this energy, um, I don't know, it's a, I would call it a weapon, but uh, they can man, uh, make a man have a very, very hard erection that will last for hours. So they have special drugs, special energy, an energy weapon that will give you a massive erection for hours, and they haven't put that on the market? As in the energy weapon that could give you a massive hard erection for hours. They didn't think that they could make money off of that. And before anybody in the chat goes, well, you know, they'll keep it from themselves. Viagra, motherfucker. Viagra. Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, 13,917 children have been put into the Cargill meat supply. How do you know this? I will be going through any forms of citations that you do use, which is slightly more than Wes Truther, and we will find out. But, how do you 
know that number. Uh, Sixty percent of all these children came from Mexico, and um, I'm sorry, sixty percent of the meat that was processed has gone to Mexico. But now, over the past uh, few months, uh, forty percent of this meat of the thirteen thousand nine hundred seventeen children has stayed here in America. And what happens is when, because ninety nine percent of Americans have eaten human. So ninety nine percent of Americans have eaten human, or human, or as you're trying to say, children. Let's be honest about this, that's what you're trying to say, that they've tried to eat children. Any proof of this, or just accusations? Movement for that, like I said, the Nazis, I call them the Nazis or the dark side or whatever. So in other words, you don't have a fucking clue who they are, you just want to make them to be an anonymous bad guy. That anybody that calls them the Illuminati, the government, the dark web, the, the horrible NWO, or whatever, Freemasonry or whatever, can all jump on what you're trying to say and have their own version of what you're trying to say. Almost like a form of religion. Interesting. An army man, I overheard an army man uh, talking about how... That, uh, you know, and then by the way, I went back and verified, I started checking people's DNA, I went to the CEO of Cargill, looked at his DNA, and then verified. How the fuck did you check people's DNA? You went and got a form of DNA to check the DNA for the CEO of a massive corporation? And you were able to get their DNA, and you were able to check their DNA. You're either full of shit... Or somehow you've managed to become a biological chemist. I'm gonna guess the former rather than the latter. But I could be wrong. 13 states in the western part of America, south and west, uh, are now serving human children that are gang raped and, uh, to other school children. So, children are now eating other children. And this is all coming from the school system. And this is all coming from Cardinal. Right? That's what's going on. That's where we are at this moment in time. I just wanted to clarify. And um, also, there's another way that uh, Americans have been eating humans, and that's in, um, in soda. And this is a really big difference between Republicans and Democrats. Republicans don't like abortion because they're running child trafficking, and they like children to be born so they can gang rape them and murder them later. So, all Republicans are eating children? Interesting. Didn't think that this would be a political video, but interesting. Let's, let's carry on and hear the Democrat side. Democrats like abortion because they can sell the aborted fetuses to soda companies, including PepsiCo. So, the Republicans want to eat the meat, and the Democrats want to suck and drink the meat. Okay, uh, I'm officially creeped out by your crazy. Pepsi and three other soda companies are uh, putting the embryos, I think they're called embryos, aren't they? I don't know. You did the research, apparently. You should know this. Whatever's left over from an abortion, they take that and they process it and they put it into the soda. And, um, you know, I checked my own DNA and I pulled it up and uh, I think it was three times that I've, I've eaten, you know, unknowingly. Because most of us are doing this unknowingly. How did you check your DNA for how many times that you've eaten human? And if you can do that... Can you check how many times that I've eaten cow, or how many times I've eaten pig, or how many times that I've gone down on my missus? Can you, can you tell me that through DNA? Because if you can, I'll be fucking amazed. Except the reptilians, they, you know... Um... What is it with everybody who are fucking reptilians? It's the reptilians, it's lizards, it's the moon, David Icke. Every single level of crazy seems to come from that. No wonder why they say people get crazier under the full moon. But one was 14 years ago when I was uh, just bought meat in the store 
And when I worked for the Allen County Fraternal Order of Police, one of the volunteers uh, served human hamburgers for dinner that night. And uh, I wondered about it because it tasted, it tasted really weird. And um, it's funny because these people were really rich, but they would, when they go out to buy food for dinner for everybody, they spend like the, you know, the 99 cent hamburger product, like uh, fake hamburger meat. People make 60, 70, 100,000 dollars a year. I'm going to take you to dinner. I'm going to spend 50 cents. Of course, most Americans are like that. So if most Americans are like that, what's, excuse the pun, your beef with people doing that? And, um, I'm sorry, I'm just really bitter. What, that they're rich or they're eating human? I'm sorry that I keep on cutting in, but that was just gold. Sorry, I'm just bitter. What, from not eating human or not being rich? I'm gonna guess the former, but I would like to think it's the latter. But you know, it could be either. And so, uh, oh, I, I, this, I'm gonna go back and do uh, my lab report separate for uh, this weekend. Uh, because they had a big Super Bowl party, and, uh, you know, many, many, many children were gang raped this weekend. I'm not laughing because of the children being gang raped, right? But I had a massive Super Bowl party while children were being gang raped. I'm pretty sure that you want to eat human. I'm pretty sure. I'm at the Cargill website, Cargill.com, and they are the world's leading supplier of human meat in our food. This is the executive team, the executive officers of Cargill, David McLennan, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Leanne Baker, Human Resources. Ah, Human Resources, you say. Does that mean that they're actually going out and resourcing human meat? And that's what she's in charge of? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Frank Van Leerd, Food and Bio Industrial ingredients. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Sorry, did you just hear that? Oh yeah, um, he's food and bio ingredients tester to make sure what ingredients are there. Now, even if this was true, and it was a conspiracy theory that was true, even if, right, surely you would be on that guy to go, not, yeah, I bet, but yeah, this is the one that lets everything slide. And the fact that they don't do that is amazing. And it just shows you that this is nothing to do with actual any factual based evidence. It's all to do on wishy-washy woo I feel that you're giving us human because. Here's something interesting. Go over to their meat and poultry site or their page. Product overview. North America. Europe. Asia. Ooh, their human products go worldwide. You haven't proved that they have any human products. You're just saying they do. And just saying that they do doesn't mean that they are. I can say that you're a pedophile, but that doesn't mean that you are. I could also say that you're a Muslim terrorist without even knowing what religion you are, or even if you've committed a terrorist act. But yet, I can still call you that with no evidence. But to prove that you are one of these things, I need... What's that thing called? Oh yeah, evidence! And check this out, this is the CargillGroundBeef.com. They don't put everything on the same corporate site. They have many different sites for their different products with the same logo. Cargill Ground Beef. The reason why they have different websites, or the reason why that they would have different products and different sites for the products, is quite evident. They're different products. So to find out the most about those products, you would have the different sites that would know about those products. I know you're going to freak out because you're going to recognize a lot of the products you probably see in your stores here. Check this out. How many have you seen this in your stores? <laughs> Ground beef. This is the kind of packaging they use to sell their human processed meats. A ground beef package on a ground beef website proves that this has ground human in it. 
I'm not sure what level of retardation that you're under, or what spectrum of autism that you may be under or have, but by God, see a doctor. Probably the same ones they put in their McDonald's patties. The more of their brands, Sterling Silver, Angus Pride, Blackwell Angus, Genuine Texas Beef, and Certified Angus Beef. And over here, look, they specialize in hamburger meat. This is the Elvis Presley Burgers. Do you know why a ground beef company would specialize in, I don't know, ground beef pâtés that form the basis of burgers? I wonder why that they would specialize in burgers at a ground beef product. For the life of me, I can't work it out. And let's look at this one, folks. Shocking human meat found in McDonald's meat factory. This is from Lifestyle Tips at lifestyletips.net. And this is from GMA Morning Stir. Behind the scenes at McDonald's, fast food giant reveals its secrets. Well, that's pretty nasty. Human meat found in McDonald's meat factory. Inspectors have found human meat and horse meat in the freezers of an Oklahoma City McDonald's meat factory. Human meat was also recovered in several trucks that were on their way to deliver the patties to the restaurants. So, very interesting that he says Oklahoma McDonald's. Seems that Snoops actually did a actual fact-checking mission on this one. Let's find out what they have to say about this, shall we? So again, very, very, very quickly, this is from snoops.com. By the way, all of the sources that I have been using and have used will be in the description box down below, including the videos to the channels. So please have a look, have a listen, have a watch, have a read. So, McDonald's exposed for using human meat? Question mark. So reports that an Oklahoma City McDonald's outlet was caught with horse meat and human meat in their freezers are fake news. Interesting. So, stay informed. Right, claim, rating, force. Origin. These rumours about McDonald's restaurant using worms as filler as their hamburgers and true reports of some retail change being bended food products tainted with horse meat due to problems with suppliers have been the basis for wild but apparently believable yes interesting believability isn't it claims that an oklahoma city mcdonald's outlet was caught with horse meat human meat in their freezer such claims originated with a 27th of March 2014 article published by the Hooselers or Hustlers. Interesting. Uh, there's all of that little bit there. So, however, that McDonald's article was just a spoof from the Hustlers website, which offers users the ability to create your own news pranks and trick your friends by sharing it. And has a history of publicising, or publishing rather, fabricated news stories such as the one about pop star Justin Bieber admitted to being bisexual, and one about 2014 Super Bowl being rigged. The Hustlers site also carries a disclaimer on its page, noting that Hustlers.com is a combination of real shocking news and satirical, or sorry, satire news to keep its visitors in a state of disbelief. And is listed in our article about five fake news sites to avoid sharing. So, interesting how you would use a particular source for that, isn't it? According to various reports, authorities have inspected factories and restaurants across the country and have found human meat in 90% of the locations. Horse meat was found in 65% of the locations FBI agent Lloyd Harrison told Hustler reporters. The worst part is that it's not only human meat, it's child meat. The body parts were found across the U.S. factories and were deemed too small to be adult body parts. This is truly horrible, it says, as far as cannibalism, cannibalism goes. This is lit. I'm not sure if this person that's doing this video is a Poe. I'm not sure if this person actually believes what's going on. I'm not sure. 
if they actually are trying to push this as fake. But when it's this easy that an old boomer like myself can fact check this person as well as other sites that have already done it for me as well. Kind of boggles my mind that these truther YouTube channels would believe shit like this when they're the ones that are supposed to be the ones going out and fact checking all of these claims. Not believing on bias alone that these things are actually happening. I find it really interesting that all of these people that are to do with this and pushing these fake news websites and fake news stories, these cannibalistic human meat. I mean, the statistics in there should have given it away. 90% were human meat, where only 60% was horse meat. Surely that does not add up to fucking 100%, and that should give that away straight away. But no, no. People use that as actual fact and actual points and understanding. 90 plus 60 equals 100, right? No? Oh, fuck. Well, that's my idea down the drain then. I mean, come on, guys. You're supposed to be the truth for channels. You're supposed to be the ones that are going out and telling us what the conspiracy theories are and proving facts and counterpoints to what the narratives are supposed to be. Not going on to bloody proven fake news websites and hysterical websites, which they even say that they are, by themselves. Right, so this is Hustlers, and though I can't find the actual news article anymore, this actually comes from the actual part from later on when the actual video itself quotes Hustlers but let's read about us which is right at the bottom where you can see the landscape and everything else like that. About us. Hustlers.com is a satirical and fictional news blog. A satirical and fictional news blog. And you want to push that as actual news to push a narrative to go against people to what? Make you money? Or to make them money? What way does it work? How does the relationship between you guys work? Anyway, let's get on with the video because there's still more to get on with. It originated thousands of years ago and blah blah blah. Folks, this is crazy. This isn't the first time we've run across stories of human meat being found in McDonald's food. Tori Smith reveals it's Cargill in Minnesota, which supplies all these restaurants, and I'll get more into that here in a little bit. So, because of this fake news story, you've now made the wild assumption, and all of these other people that I've covered before, Wes Trufer and the other guy as well, the other channel that's got almost 70,000 views on this video alone, is saying that because of this new story, or because of these interactions, uh, hustlers and whatnot, proving that it's fake, are saying that because this news story is fake, I believe it, so the people that supply these meat, which is Cardinal, are the ones that are supplying this meat, and is now producing human meat. Does anybody else understand, or can see, the stupidity, and the giant Mr. Fantastic reach? that needs to be made here for this to even make sense no just me let's carry on and i want to play this interview i have a guest by the name of rabbi ab finkelstein he's off the east coast of the united states who's going to be joining me tonight rabbi ab finkelstein as i said a rabbi off the east coast of the united states are you there with me tonight Shalom, I am here. There's a lot of rumors and conjecture that's taking place across this country relating to the Jewish population, okay? Okay. The, the masses have a hard time believing anything. Well, we've got a great brainwashing job on them over the centuries, and especially the last few hundred years. We've just brainwashed them completely. They believe anything we tell them. And, uh, you know, in the meantime... We have a lot of fun around Passover where we steal the children. I mean, we steal 100 to 300,000 children a year just here in this country. And we drain their blood and we mix it with the Passover bread. And then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own. And we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. McDonald's is one of our favorite outlets. Yeah, what you're hearing is an interview on a radio show of apparently a Jewish rabbi 
that nicks over 300,000 children a year and is able to drain the blood of these children, throw the bodies into slaughterhouses and then produce those slaughterhouses to cardinal, I guess, to be able to produce meat to get rid of the bodies and so on and so forth. I mean, really? This, this really is believable to people. This really is believable to people, is it? Because of the fear of all of, I don't know, what, the corporations? The government? Do you not think that the FDA or the people that are going around and checking all of these meats don't do certain tests on them to make sure that they're not horse meat? They're not human meat? They're not this, they're not that? Do you not think that this happens on a regular basis? Or do you think the, the Jews pay them all off or something, do you? Because if you do, I've I've got something to tell you, my friends. I've got something to tell you. The Jews did it. The Jews did it. You fucking retards.